Hey, Dave with Alliant Therapy here. We have been talking about mild scoliosis. I had screened Dion, this is Dion, my wife. Uh, I had screened her for mild scoliosis, which she has. She has a right thoracic curve. And you can look at the video from before to see that. But today I wanted to show how I do manual therapy using a technique called ASTYM. It's A-S-T-Y-M. It stands for Augmented Soft Tissue Mobilization. It's a specific manual therapy technique that you have to be certified in to, to do and to call it ASTIM. There are many other techniques that are similar to this that are called IA, IASTM or Instrument Assisted Soft Tissue Mobilization. And uh, so I'm gonna show you the ASTIM technique that I do and how it's helpful and what you need to look for with scoliosis. So. If you're someone who has scoliosis and you are being treated by a, a physical therapist who does manual therapy like scraping or IASTM or ASTEM or Graston or something like that, there's some specific things that you have to know and you have to do when you're working on somebody with scoliosis. So hopefully this helps if you're being treated or treating someone. And I'd love to hear some comments if you have any suggestions on how this can be done better as well. So with Dion, we have a, a right thoracic curve right here. We already screened for that in the last video. So we're just going to get to that area here, lift up a little bit. And I'm going to use some cocoa butter on her skin. So I'm going to take a couple of towels in so we don't get cocoa butter on her clothes. So here we can actually see it a little bit better than when we screened for it, we have a little bit of a higher spot here on the right side than the left side. And so this is where her scoliosis curve goes, is to the right side. If I'm pushing on her muscles here, it feels like this right side is tighter and that it's more, there's more muscle mass there. The important thing to remember though, is that we're, we see the side higher because of scoliosis because the spine is rotated this way. So the ribs here on this right side are rotated back and the ribs on the left side are rotated forward. So if we just say that these muscles are bigger and more, more tight and there's more muscle mass, that's inaccurate because it's the same muscle mass, it's just rotated so it's closer to us. So that's an important thing to remember. Whether you're a massage therapist, whether you're a physical therapist, whether you are just giving your husband or wife or your child a massage because their their back hurts and they have scoliosis, we're not going to rub out this this prominent spot because it's there because of the, ro the rotation in the spine. So that's something to remember. The other thing to remember is you won't always see a deviation in the spine to the side where the scoliosis goes. The reason for that is, I mean, if we look at Dion's spine, it's pretty straight down the middle, even though she has a mild scoliosis curve. The reason it looks straight like that is because the rotation takes the, the process of the spine or the little knob on the back of the spine and it rotates it towards the midline. So because we have a curve here, but all those little knobs are rotated in, it looks like it's straight. So just palpating the, the spinous process won't show you where the scoliosis curve is. You're, you have to look at the rotation and, and see that. So now with, with A-STEM, I'm gonna put a little bit of cocoa butter on her back, um, just to provide a little bit of lubrication on the skin. And then for this, just a, a simple way to look with A-STEM, I'm just gonna follow up on the paraspinals, and I usually tell patients to give me some feedback on how much pressure I'm putting. I'm putting a specific amount of pressure, um, usually, but they do have a say in this, so if I'm pushing too hard, they can tell me that I'm pushing too hard, but I think Dion likes this pressure, yeah? Yep. It's not too hard. I did this ASTEM treatment on Dion's legs and feet one time, well, more than one time, and feet are a little more sensitive. Usually on the back, we can go fairly fairly good with our pressure, um, and, it feels good. and people, yeah, it feels good and people tolerate it pretty well. 
So going out, there are some muscles and some fibers of the connective tissue that go out. I'm trying to follow some of those muscle fibers and I'm trying to just stimulate some blood flow. So if you look at, <laughs> definitely you can see it at this point, we can see some redness starting in the skin. That's some vasodilation or blood flow coming to the skin. We're trying to get that blood flow also to the, the structures below, the muscles and the tendons and, and the fascia. And then I'll go with a little smaller tool and we'll go kind of in the same direction. I don't usually go towards the spine. Like I don't push towards the spine because it kind of compresses the tissue between the spinous process and the tool but we'll go through and just try and really get some good blood flow in there. But with the scoliosis, as I go on the right side, as a, if I'm going out like this, I feel more, I feel more tissue because it's again, back towards me more on that right side. On the left side, I don't feel quite as much. Again, don't make the mistake of thinking that it's just more tissue that we need to work through here. Remember that the ribs are back further and there it's going to make it feel like Like there's more there so then usually after I do some astim on somebody I will I'll still hit a few different spots where I feel like things are tight Dion gets really tight right through here in her mid to lower thoracic spine and up by close by the shoulder blade so We'll do a little manual therapy, a little soft tissue work there. And then anywhere that I really want to focus on, I can really dial in and work right on those, on those tissues. So, and then you play nice a little bit. Although on the back, the tools don't feel that bad, but play nice, kind of relax the muscles a little bit more. Then you can get into some soft tissue work, like regular massage and, and work into there. The biggest takeaway with working on someone with mild scoliosis is remember the rotation and respect the rotation. We're not trying to, with massage, reduce the rotation. We can do mobilization and stuff like that for, for the rotation. But manual therapy can be really helpful for someone with scoliosis. It's not contraindicated in any way. It's really helpful and it can, it can really feel good and can help the muscles to relax. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, leave some comments, questions, anything like that. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the things that you're learning and thanks for watching.